Hey guys, Moshe the Electric Israeli is here and thank you for joining. Don't forget to subscribe. Today we're going to talk about Tesla stock. I haven't talked about it for a while. And is it headed towards $1,000 price? As of now, it's hovering in the high 800s. It was up in 970, 950, something like that in the beginning of the year, down to 300s, up back to 800 because of the pandemic and all that craziness. But is it going to $1,000? What will it take for it to go to $1,000? That's a big question. So let's take a look at the factors. Notwithstanding this uh, pandemic and, and reopening the, the economy and all that, let's take a look. So first quarter is great earning, great sales, con uh, uh, considering first quarter. First quarter is always, always not so great. So first quarter uh, sales and earning was fantastic. Uh, factory in China, after a little pause, was reopened, and now China is even starting starting to offer uh, the Model Y. You can pre-order Model Y in China right now. So that that the factory in Berlin concrete is now poured uh, on the on the surface of where the factory is going to be. Uh, then I think that psychologically, I have to tell you psychologically, the launch of the uh, Falcon. A rocket carrying the two astronauts to the space station, a partnership between NASA and uh, Tesla. Don't discount that. That's a great achievement by itself. Nothing to do with Tesla by itself. It gives tremendous credibility to Elon Musk. Not that he was uh, this guy who nobody ever heard of, but I think this is a great accomplishment. So take all these factors. Now, we all know that quarter two is not going to be good probably for anybody because the economy was literally shut down. And even now, it's not opened all the way, full, fully open. So we, things will take. So I think every, everybody's going to be forgiven. And if stocks are going to rise, they're going to rise on quarter three and on quarter four prediction for the future. But I think that Tesla is really, really, really positioned. And Elon Musk personally, you know, with his uh, Twitter shenanigans, I think that the launch was really, really, uh, now you are absolutely, in the eyes of everybody, an icon. That you can accomplish something like this, a great partnership, it's a great accomplishment, something that the United States has not done in more than a decade, sending uh, uh, um, uh, astronauts on, uh, on a privately owned uh, rocket. I mean, I know it's partnership with, with NASA, but this is really a private company doing that. It's not necessarily the state. So that's very, very uh, incredibly important. Now, also coming down the pike is Tesla next uh, uh, factory in the United States, let's say Texas. That's what the rumors for the Cybertruck and probably the Model Y as well, the future Model Y. Model Ys are going to be coming more and more and more delivered. I'm getting mine this week. So you see, there's a momentum. That's what I'm trying to say. There's a momentum uh, of Elon Musk personally and Tesla SpaceX as an image and as results going forward towards uh, a possibly possibly a, the $1,000 mark and then from there uh, going up. So if you don't have the stomach for up and down, don't invest in Tesla stock, okay? But uh, it is possible that this is going to be reached soon and beyond. We'll see what happens. So these are the factors. Let me know what you think. Thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.